Welcome back to daytime, everyone. One thing many women with kids will say is working out while pregnant makes for an easier delivery and an easier recovery. Kristen McGee is a celebrity trainer, and she's here to talk about how to do that properly and how it can actually make you feel better throughout your pregnancy. And we are also joined by Alex and Juliana. And every woman here is pregnant except me. So, <laughs> Kristen, how far along are you? I'm six months. Six months? 33 weeks. 33 weeks? 21 weeks. All right. And and uh, have the both of you been working out throughout your pregnancy yes. so far? Yes. 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 Is this your first or second? Second. Did second. you work out during your first pregnancy? No, but definitely I learned my lesson. <laughs> oh, really? I gained 60 pounds the first time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this your first? It's my third. Third. Yes. And have you always worked out? Um, no, I gained 60 pounds also oh, in my, my first. Oh my heavens. Okay. And <laughs> so Kristen? I'm here for the rescue. I've been, <laughs> I've been working out the entire time. I actually was on the Home Shopping Network last night on the Pilates Power Gym. So I've been doing Pilates and yoga throughout my pregnancy and I feel wonderful. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And is this your first? And this is my very first. Oh, well, congratulations. Yes. Well, congratulations to all of you. <laughs> all right, well, let's talk about this because, I mean, when women, the more pregnant they get, the less they want to go out and run a marathon, it's obviously. so true. And that's what's so nice about yoga and Pilates is it's portable. You can do it in your own home. You don't need any special equipment. You can even just do it on the floor or on a towel or on your yoga mat. And the wonderful thing about yoga and Pilates is their mind-body exercises. So it really connects you with your mind and your body and it lets you really be mindful and feel every part of your pregnancy and, you know, really get comfortable with your body while it changes. And it's great for the breathing. Yeah. So it teaches you, you know, to get ready for labor. It's almost like a Lamaze class. You take those deep full breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. One of my favorite exercises is cat-cow pose. Cat-cow. And you can do this, yeah, you can do this throughout <laughs> your entire pregnancy from first trimester to third. It's nice in your first trimester if you have any nausea or fatigue because it feels really good on your spine and it's excellent for your back, your hips, your, your head, your neck, your shoulders if you have any tension there. Let's do it. Yes. So let's do it. So you come onto hands and knees. Cat-cow. This is also fun once you have your little guy or girl because you can always let the little baby lay here and do it while they're, well, they're there. I think that's a great idea. Isn't that fun? So uh -huh. you inhale, you look up, and that's your cow pose. And then you exhale round like a Halloween cat, and that's your cat pose. Huh. So you just go back and forth through the spine, arching and rounding. I feel better already. Doesn't that feel nice? Yes. Yeah, it's great for yes. you too as well, you know, with all of the, the work that you're doing at the desk. And oh, being up this early is good. And so that will relieve all the tension in your shoulders, head, and neck. Oh. Now, another pose that I really like is tree pose because for women, as we start to get bigger and bigger, our center of gravity changes and uh -huh. shifts, and we want to have balance, and we also want to be able to really support ourselves. So tree pose is fun, too, because it's good for concentration and focus. So you take one foot up, and it can be a baby tree. It doesn't have to be all the way <laughs> up, high up on the inner thigh. Okay. And you bring your hands to prayer. Praying. <laughs> pray pray that you can hold this. Yes, uh -huh. you guys are excellent. So good. And then you just find a spot to concentrate on and breathe through the nose. Well, I guess a baby would give you a little lower cent center of gravity, <laughs> Definitely. Right? Right? All of a sudden, you're going to feel that shifting and changing. And it's also nice for the swelling in your feet and in your ankles. So you can switch sides if you want to. Balance yourself out. And you'll notice one side is always different than the other. Yes, this Isn't one's not so easy. <laughs> That's it. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> now, in... As you get bigger and bigger, uh, twists, deep twists are contraindicated. You never want to cross the midline of your body in a twist. Why? Nor do you want no, to lay it's prone. Not a good idea. It's just not a good idea. Okay. But there is a twist that you can do that's an open straddle twist. So if you take your legs wide apart, you hinge forward from your waist, and you put one hand on the floor, you can twist safely because your baby's still open to the floor, uh -huh. and you're just opening up your back and shoulders. Doesn't that feel nice? Good. And even if you want to bend your knees, you know, like a little squat position, uh -huh. you can. And that's going to open up your chest, your shoulders shoulders and your back. Hey, Juliana, how does it feel over there? And it's going to open up your lungs and you're going to start to breathe deeply and feel really good. Alex, have you done this move before? Oh, yes. Doesn't oh. that feel good? Yes, Even if it does. you just let your head hang forward, that's really nice. I wish I could do that. That, that looks like a really good move. And then you can round up to sit. Yeah, that feels really good. But your hamstrings will start to open up more and more the more you do it. That's right. <laughs> and They're then, very closed right now. <laughs> hamstrings open. One last thing that's really important is we want to have our hips nice and open, uh -huh. especially for labor. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you want that open door. And so there's a pose called pigeon, if uh -huh. you guys don't mind getting on the floor one more time. Say you were just doing your cat cow or you're in all fours position. You slide one leg forward so the knee is on the same side and the foot is on the opposite side. And then you can slide the opposite leg back. And this is your pigeon pose. Oh, this feels good. <gasps> Does that feel so good? It and does. it stretches and that outer hip. Oh, really good. And it brings blood flow and circulation to the pelvic okay. floor. Well, so perfect. you're ready for delivery. Kristen McGee, <laughs> thank you. And Alex and Juliana, good luck to well, good luck to all of you. I hope the baby just shoots out. Thank really you. We'll be right back with more daytime.